The 2017 MacBook Pro is known for its high quality display, design, and performance, but now that we're going into 2024, I wonder, is it still a good laptop to buy? So to start off, there are a few different 2017 MacBook Pro models. So you have like the regular 13 inch that doesn't have this thing called a touch bar, which is basically a little display that you use to do certain functions. So there's that base one, and then there is a higher end one that does have that touch bar, and it has two extra USB-C ports. And then finally, you have a 15 inch one, which is a little bit bigger, that has that touch bar and two USB-C ports, and that's the most expensive one. So starting off with the design, this laptop has an aluminum frame that comes in either silver or space gray. And then on the left side, you have two USB-C ports. And if you get one of the touch bar models, you have another two USB-C ports on the other side. Then moving over to the keyboard area, you have this trackpad that is a large trackpad. It has this thing called force touch, which basically simulates a click. And then for the keyboard, you have Apple's butterfly mechanism keyboard, which it isn't known to be really reliable. However, it's still really functional. You just need to be careful, you know, not to get some breadcrumbs and stuff in it. Now, this keyboard area um, can either come with a row of function keys at the top or with those touch bar models, there'll be like a little display that you can use to, you know, change the brightness, switch between apps and do different functions. However, a lot of people find it really annoying because they just want to like change the brightness for click of the button and they don't like have, they have to go into different menus in order to change brightness. So may consider if you are buying one of these to get the uh, non-touch bar one. So moving on to the display, the display is a high resolution retina display. It is a very good quality display. It displays colors very accurately and it's kind of similar to the displays in the newer MacBook Airs. Uh, but overall, it's a really good display and you won't be disappointed at all. Now let's talk about performance. So this still uses Intel chips, so it does get kind of hot if you are running like a heavy task, for example, and the battery life may not be as good as a newer M1 MacBook. However, it is gonna be enough to last you for the day. Uh, realistically, depending on battery health, you're gonna get about uh, seven to 10 hours for web browsing, uh, which is just enough to last you for the day typically. Now, one thing I did try doing with this is online games. So I ran a 3D shooter game called Crunker.io, and it ran really smoothly on this, um, which is super great. Uh, one thing I will mention though, is if you do plan on using this for like video editing, maybe even photo editing, and some of the professional tasks, it may get kind of slow at times with that. Uh, but if you're just using this for web browsing and getting some work done, it's gonna be a great computer for that. Now, another thing to mention too, this is a little bit older. It doesn't quite run Apple's latest OS. However, most applications are still gonna run the latest versions of their apps on this for at least quite a few years. Um, one thing I will mention though, is if you do run apps off the Mac App Store, or you are using like Microsoft Office or the Adobe Cloud subscriptions, uh, you are gonna have to maybe consider buying a newer computer because you're only gonna get about two years of the latest updates for those applications on this. So maybe consider that uh, before buying. Now, you might be wondering what step above this gets you. So this laptop right here, depending on the model and the condition, is gonna be between three to $500. But if you have a little bit extra money, it's definitely worth getting the Apple M1 MacBook Air. Uh, you can find it on refurbished sites or used for about 700. To 800 and this macbook it has a better keyboard displays slightly better uh, the battery life is a whole lot better it uses apple's m1 chip so performance is really great especially for like photo editing and stuff and it's only a few hundred dollars more so if you do have that extra money and you do want a laptop that's going to last you a long time and you know perform well it's definitely worth spending that extra money to get a refurbished or a used MacBook Air M1. If you're just using this for web browsing and like basic office work, and you want it to last you for like three to five years doing that, or possibly even longer, this laptop's still a good option for those people. So in conclusion, if your budget is around $400, this is a pretty good laptop to get in 2023 or now going into 2024. 
Uh, but if you are somebody who plans to do like professional tasks with this or um, really likes that extra battery life and stuff, it's definitely worth spending an extra few hundred to get an M1 MacBook Air uh, instead. But for web browsing and stuff, this is still a very good laptop.